Beyonce. Maintenant. We. Oui. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. Have you guys ever thought about how different the French are from we Americans? Well, how? Well, well like breakfast, for example. Well, what do you mean? Yes, well, I can see what you what mean. Look at what we ate for breakfast, everyone. Mmm. Yeah. 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 Well. <laughs> Why don't we go over here? Oh, I see something over there. Yeah, like. let's go over there and we see what bad. we can find. Come on. Oh, oh now oh, this is a now, breakfast. Yes, this yes. This is sit a French down, breakfast. Sit down. Oh, this looks good. The French it? have wonderful things for breakfast, like fresh croissant. Yes, of course. Steaming yes. hot cafe au lait. And sometimes oh, something bonjour. really special. Oh. Bonjour, Christophe. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour Christophe. Parlez-vous. <laughs> what? <laughs> Parlez-vous. No, he said, how no, are you? No. Oh, did you? Oh, is that what you said? Oh, she's oh, fine. I'm Thank good. you. Thank you. Oh, that looks great. Uh, merci. Merci beaucoup. Oh, si merci moi? beaucoup. Merci, merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. This is charming. Au revoir. See, you're getting really good. I'm getting good. Au revoir. <laughs> well, well, enjoying this. This is delicious. Isn't this good? Mm -hmm. Put a little mm. milk in mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. <laughs> I have a little sugar too. So, how do you like Paris? How do you like speaking French? I like it very much. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this is. <laughs> you know, these are big cups. Yeah. <laughs> Any okay. particular reason why? Cafe au lait is always served in large, almost bowls. And boy, I wish they did this in this country. This is the kind of cup of coffee we need in the morning. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, you know, we'd like to introduce, we have a very special one, speaking of French food, the owner of Chez Josephine Restaurant in New York. His name is Jean-Claude Baker, and we're going over to see him now. Oh, boy. Oh, take, 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 Oh, that's a little vase. Oh, that's it's wonderful. Now, we should tell everybody who Jean-Claude is the son of a very, very famous French woman, and we are very fortunate to have him on the show today. Josephine Baker, the great singer, dancer of Paris fame, international fame, was your mother. Merci, my adoptive mother. Yes, yes. your adoptive mother. I have ten mother. brothers and two sisters. We were a big family. She, she had a big heart. Lots yes. of yes. children, didn't she? We were called the Rainbow Tribe. She wanted to have a universal world. So I have a Jewish brother, I'm Catholic, Protestant, I have a Japanese brother, and we all grew up together. Her spirit was when you are children, you are the men and women of tomorrow, and you will be brother and sister, and instead of killing each other, you may love each other. Oh, isn't, isn't that, that beautiful, nice. everybody? Now, your she restaurant in New York is, is in honor of her. Yes, because she went to Paris in 1925, when she was 19 years of age, and took Paris by storm on the yes. opening night. And in 1926, she opened a little bistro called Chez Josephine. And I wanted to keep on the memory and bring her alive on 42nd Street, which is the quintessence of show business. Yes, sir. And here we are with a little piano, a wonderful chef, and a beautiful atmosphere. Oh, nice. that's so and exciting. That accent. We have some pictures of huh. your adoptive mother yeah. right here. There Doesn't she, she look yes, great? Yes, yeah. wonderful yeah. there. She was there in Zuzu with Jean Gabin, a movie she made in 1934. Really? All right, now what are you going to make for us today? I'm trying to make something with your help. Yes. A oh, crepe great. Oh, My okay. chef, who is named Jean-Claude, teach me how to do it. Okay. So here you have three-quarter cup of flour. Okay. Then you have two and quarter teaspoon sugar. You okay. put together. Right. Then you put a little half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Voila. Voila. You have voila. three voila. eggs, voila. as you can see. Here it is, very easy. If I can do it, everyone can do it. No. Then you just turn it a little bit like that. Then you put three-quarter cup of whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk, whole milk. right. Voila, voila, All voila. Right. You know, how is it that, that the French can, can eat things with sauces and creams well, and they never get heavy, fat? But it's very good, you see. You see, you see French people, that's true, they are not very fat. They're not. Because the food is good, certainly. They have a way of doing food. And they don't overeat it. That's you ever know that's the case? Some good things. Yes. You know, they're they little stop. gourmet. 
not yes. gourmand, as That's we say. That's exactly right. right. Mais not gourmand. Now, you put a little melted butter, melted butter, uh -huh. right? that will help it not to stick on the pan here. Okay. Here we are, together. Jean-Claude, we always hear about the French having such joie de vivre, this joy for life. Oui. Do you think that's true? Oh, that's true. When you have some accordion, a baguette of French bread, a glass of red wine. A bit and of love. And, and of course, I want to send a beautiful girl. That's romantic, <laughs> that's you know? That's you need Thank to be you happy. for it. You see I'm how good she's doing you. it? Oh, Wonderful. Great. I'm so when it's finished, it's come just like that. Nice and smooth. You take just a little, that's enough. Okay. And you just put it on your very hot pan. Here we are. Very little of it. Yes, just very little. Just to cover the pan? Just to cover the pan, just like that, you oh, see? Oh, very little. And I told you, if I can do it, you can do it too. Okay. So here it's wonderful. We just wait two minutes until it gets a little bit brown on the corner. Right. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes. 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 Did have you? you? Have a good time? No, I've never been. No? No. We go together. Been. Oh, oh, thank you. Can I come along? Of course. Good. And we take some of the audience here. Ha, ha, ha. Uh-huh. All right. I love your like show. That. Attitude. Thank you. Attitude. Yes. It's very good in French, Attitude. you know? Attitude. Attitude with Dee and Linda. Attitude. Wonderful. Thank you. Maybe Next I'll start this talk like this. Paris is something I've always wanted to do. You'll go. We'll go. I've we'll been do to Nice and there. Evian, but never to Paris. Oh, Evian, that's good water. Yes, I'm not doing commercial, wonderful. but it's true that yeah. it's very good yeah, water yeah. for your body. I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to do a commercial. Look at that bubbling up like <laughs> well, that. Well, it's See because that, it's everybody? cooking. Yes, Great. yes. Here we are. And it's still cooking. Now, what does okay. it turn now out to okay. be, Jean-Claude? Now, leave that here. We are going to see the sauce you have okay. to make. You have to make a sauce. It's very easy. Voila. The sauce, voilà. you just put some sugar. We have some uh, sugar here. Powdered right. sugar. Powdered sugar. You right. put some butter. Right. Mm -hmm. We have it. Uh -oh. Some melted butter. It kind of got sift in there. Voila. Right. Okay. Then you have some orange. One juice of an orange. One a juice whole of an orange. Like yes. A, like a whole orange. Exactly. Okay. And then you put some, what do you call that? Orange zest? rind. Peel. Orange zest. Orange rind. Orange rind. And you rind. just put it here. Yeah, orange rind. And that's the way it right. will go. Okay. And then now you can turn the crepe, you see. You just take it like that. Oh, and Beautiful. you do turn it over. Oh, here okay. we are. Okay. And here is the crepe. It's wonderful. Is that and cooking for you? Yes, that's okay. cooking. That's very good. And okay. And then you just have the sauce, which is finished. I'm going to do it because I want to a little bit faster here. Okay. We are going to put the crepe here. Voila. Voila. Look we at this. We have a little sauce here. Uh, which has to burn. And now here are going to flambe it with We're some... We're going to flambe it. Grand Marnier, voila, here we are. Give me a match somewhere Give here. Give me a match. Voila. Okay. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Yes. You have it, Lynn? Yes, I do. Okay. Now what okay. do I do? Okay, here. Drop do it. what to it? Voila! Ah! Beautiful! Am I on fire? <laughs> <laughs> that was You'd wonderful. You'd beautiful. Here we are. Wow, how And certainly. you just put it a little bit alive? over here. Yeah. Voila. <laughs> you see, don't be worried. Now, now, you, now you get something. You're going to eat it. Voila, voila, voila. Are we voila. going to what it? Voila. Eat it? Oui. Oh, eat it. Here, oh, that's have a little bit. Okay. Tasty. Here we are. Tasty. You go ahead. I'll take it. Okay, take um, that. We're with the French. I'll use and it And you are still, you are still whole, you see? I, I'm not Wonderful. on fire, which is great. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Let me have that. That's good. This that's very good. fabulous. That's very good. That was easy, wasn't it, Marie? It's if you would like that at home, bring it down. Thank you if for you the help. I would like to create a flaming huh? sensation at your house. Stay tuned because later in the show we'll tell you how to get it. Jean Claude, mm. thank you so thank much. You, mm. It's lovely That's having you. Good. You can cook at our, our house anytime you want. Avec plaisir. Yes. And we take the accordionist with us. Les chasseurs et les accessoires. Très bien conclu la mode française. Come back. Isn't it delicious? Ready? Yes. Our next guest is the toast of Paris and the international fashion scene, an accessories whiz whose delicious creations go from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Romantic hats, sculpted shoes, embroidered gloves, and decorative handbags. All designed by one man and produced by the most superb craftsmen who share his sense of perfection. Coming all the way from Paris, he joins us today. Please welcome Philippe Model. Bienvenue à New York. 
you really did come in just now yes, on the course, plane. How course. was your flight? Very good. You, very good. You were here oh, like that. <laughs> you were. Right. Okay. We love the, oh, come over. Just come beautiful. Closer. The shoes and gloves. No, all right, now, Philippe, you have been designing for lots of designers. Gautier, Raquel. Yes, and you only and really went on your own, what, a couple of years ago? Oh, more than a couple, more? yes. yes. Um, a little less than 10 years, so oh, that long, it's really, really more than a couple. Yeah. How does it feel to be on your own? You're liking it more? Um, of course, uh, it's different. It's always uh, very important to do, to progress and to do more and to try to do better. Yeah. Tell us what's happening at Bloomingdale's. You have all your hats and gloves and bags and shoes, everything there? Uh, yes, uh, you know about um, French promotion at Bloomingdale, yes. so uh -huh. I was very honored and very happy to know that uh, I was chosen as an important accessory designer, that's French great. designer, so that's the reason. So, so show us some of the, yeah. talk about some of the shoes yeah. and the gloves, and then we can go to hats that we can't yeah. wait for. So here you have an interesting uh, version of a um, patchwork story. So patchwork with uh, bright colors, but patchwork, how pretty. trying to be easy to wear too. These are gorgeous. Now, do French ladies dress very differently than we Americans? Mm, do you think? Yes and no. How, why yes? Um, differently, they know how to to mix things um, that seems not to go well together, and yes. at the end they go well, they together. Go well together. So that's a, a practice of. Uh, trying many, many ways and... Uh, and they always seem to have one good thing. If they even can't make a meal, yeah. they get one great skirt, one great blouse. Mm. You know, I always thought and that was wonderful. And what is important uh, and the reason why I, I'm doing uh, well or not, I don't know, in accessories is that it's very important to understand how to use uh, accessories because like gloves. Uh, it makes uh, a different sense of... Uh, of your dresses. Everybody has uh, nice dresses. Yes, you and don't accessories need to are very important. Ooh, and I don't think we use them nice. enough here. You're right. That. Mm -hmm. That's comfortable, you know. What's that made out of? <laughs> Not much to cover mm, It's a mix of uh, silk and synthetic, so. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Does it feel yeah, good? It feels good, Let me yeah. See yeah. That's nice. beautiful. Yeah. These are lovely, too. Yeah. These with the colors. Mm -hmm. Now, Philippe, is it is it all right for women to to put on like a, a glove like this, let's say, and and have it no, be totally acceptable. different color than what you're wearing? Of course, oh, because is it, what is also very important is to to try to have something like that with um, with That's jeans. That's beautiful. Yeah. With jeans. Instead, instead of really? being very only very dressed, you can use accessories with a, a unusual way making. Uh, a billet, a very casual uh, dress. Yes. We've yes. been dying to get to your hats. hats. You're going this way, I'm going Which this way. Which one do you want? I'm going to try on this one All first. All right, we have to come back. All right. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is a little short. Hello. It's Could you have the Danone on? here? Oh, see, I like big hats like this. Let's see, Dee. Oh, honey, that's adorable. Oh, that's, now that mm. sticks out. Hand. See, like the most berets, you know, kind like of go flat on your head. Yeah. You look like you got hit by a so car. So we keep it that high up like that. How pretty. Oh, nice. Very. Now, see, we that's very it. French, isn't it? Let me try Let's this one. Let's try on. another one. I'm a real hat person, Now, you make so. all your hats in the country? Yes. And, and what uh, does happy. that mean? Hello. Uh, it, it means that I live in the country. <laughs> Hello. That looks beautiful on you. I love this. That is gorgeous. I love this. This is great. Oh. Hats are great because when you just can't take <laughs> a shower fun. one more you day, you put a hat on. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know that feeling, ladies? Aren't you sick of shaving oh, your legs? Oh, this is like the I'm Is this like the 50s? Let me see, Dave. This is very... <laughs> you are not like the 50s. You know what this is like? This is sort of like... Do you, do, you, do you ever get inspired by movies or movie stars? Yes, American movies. Do you? Who's your favorite movie star? Audrey America? Hepburn has worn oh, hats maybe, like this. Yes, yes, she has. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite? Do you have one? Mm, not especially, but um, I look uh, as much as possible. We're all doing like this. We're all yes. doing this. We Why are. are we doing Is this? That You're doing this, so I'm doing it. Not <laughs> <laughs> doing it to keep the, the magic of the French, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Huh? Now, you had, at Bloomingdale's, they asked you to, uh, the designers that are participating from France, recreate a, a historical French yes. something. Explain yes. to us what that was. Um, it's kind of fun. 
Yes, uh, every French designer chooses a famous French uh, real or not real. I choose a real um, mm, character. Character? No, it's a real uh, uh, dancers from the uh, 90s uh, who was uh, dancing on the Moulin Rouge and right. like uh, entraîneurs. And she was very well known because she was painting through um, Toulouse Lautrec. Yes. Oh, Toulouse Lautrec. Yeah. And the name is La Goulou. And she was a uh, dancing. What does that mean? Uh, it means that she used to finish the plates of uh, all the men in that uh, Moulin Rouge, and uh, La Goulou means she <laughs> eats a lot. She eats a lot. Linda Dano, <laughs> La Goulou? What? La Goulou. La Goulou. I should put that on my resume. <laughs> now, I might get more work. Now, did she have to be a redhead, we heard? Oh, yes, she was. She was she a redhead? Was like and this is like the can can Like a French yeah. can can, exactly. Oh, wow. La now, Parisian. You have brought. A young lady out. So let us see Very your your interpretation of this. Oh look! Now you did this. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that whimsical, everyone? It's just beautiful. <laughs> now will this be a blooming now? So everyone can uh, in, in New York. Chicago. Oh, and Both in places. Chicago. You will see this and other designers and their their um, <laughs> creations. Oh, great. Oh, now, will great. you ever Thank design you. clothing? Uh, maybe in the future. I'm not in a hurry for that because I'm very happy to, to be specialized in, uh, accessories. in accessories. It's wonderful. I enjoy it. Thank you so enjoy much. Enjoy your you. visit here in of New course. York. Come back and visit. Yes. Merci All right. beaucoup. Say hello to uh, France for us. How would I say goodbye? Au revoir. Au revoir. C'est très difficile. Au revoir. Yeah, oui. oh, no, please, I know I'm an idiot here. No, no. Ah, la mode a français nous quitte pas. Don't go away. We'll be back. These are beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's heard of the Midas touch, where everything turns to gold. Well, I think there really is a French touch. And we're about to show you some French interiors that demonstrate how the French touch makes the ordinary absolutely elegant. Now, is this a fabulous chair? I'm sitting in a, a fabulous chair. I, I, I can't tell. This is a very expensive fabulous how chair. How expensive? Nine thousand dollars. Get out of I'm here. I'm not kidding. Really? And do you know why? No. It is called the guillotine chair. For $9,000? Yes. You can pretend to cut off your own head in this chair. That's perverse. It is. But that's a guillotine chair. And it's designed by Christiane Duke. The guillotine chair. Only eight of them have been made. And it is $9,000. Very expensive. OK. It's a Good luck. Neat, huh? <laughs> Great. All right. Now, now, this is the barbarian chair. And the designers are Bonetti and Garou. <laughs> this, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? <laughs> this is got okay. horse hair on it. It's five thousand dollars, <laughs> and just for your seating or whatever pleasure. Yeah. I have. N do you have any idea what these stirrups could be yes, used for? Yes, I do. <laughs> In fact, I was there two days ago. <laughs> This yeah. would be a great gift for your gynecologist. Yes, it would. How much is it? How much? Five grand. Five grand. Five I'm not sure he's worth that. Yeah, no, darling. But hey. Okay, yeah. now, this is the greatest. This is another French chair. The Café Coste chair. Designer Philippe Stark. This chair is $700. This has got to be, you know, it's because it's French, right? The most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. There's no back. It's fantastic. There's it's no back. absolutely the most comfortable. What's it made out of? It's just the most comfortable. I can't imagine having a more comfortable chair. You don't believe me. No. Smitty, come, sit in this chair. Okay. Is this a great Smitty. chair? Smitty, now Smith, be honest. You got dressed for us today. I did. I did. What a guy. What do you think? Is this the this most comfortable, comfortable chair? Isn't that great? Get up. One minute left. Get up. Get up. One, get up. <laughs> okay, now this is this very is interesting. <laughs> okay, what? This is called the Minitel. And because it's French, you can't believe this. Not only do the French give out, they don't give just phone books. They give this, but let's look at the phone first. This is the téléphone, right? French phone. Telephone. Look at this. It's, look at, it's red. Is that You're fabulous? real easy to please. Look you know it. that? It's got, it's got space between the numbers, so you don't have to kind of hit two at the same time with yeah, long that's nails. Good. I, for I, these elegant what French women. This is the Minitel. What's that mean? This is a computer. 
end, it's a computerized telephone book. And you know how we just get phone books thrown up on our lawn? This is what the French throw Where on your lawn. Where does she live? No. <laughs> this can access all of France. You get this. And you know, people have found each other after many, many years by using this. Instead of a phone book, they actually give you this with your telephone. You mean the phone company? Yes. The uh, phone company? I swear. Are you sure? Yes. And the cost of the phone company is $159. Two million a year. And listen to You haven't a house or anything, but you have this. This is really great. Oh. Now, it's, it's also available um, in the U.S. You, have, you can access all French lines and listings if you had people really? in France. But this is great. You can do airline services, banking could services. You, could you have this in the United States and do it with American telephone book? I no. don't think so because it's in oh. French. Maybe the Americans will come out with this. But isn't that great, God though? Knows what it would cost. Oh, those French are so clever. Come over here. What? What? Okay. Huh. This is even greater. Oh, you love sunglasses. This I is do. Alain Mickley, who you are very familiar yes, with. Yes, I am. And the world's leading Ocouture eyeglass designer. Those are $470. Okay. okay. Aren't they fabulous? Try those on. Those are $220. He is the sunglass person. What do you think? I look like an axe murderer, don't I? <laughs> Try those They're too on. little for me. That's These why. are $270. I, I assume the he glasses, why? Or they're very expensive. Well, he's, he designs for Claude Montana, who I you adore, yeah, I Maude Frison. And uh, he studied to be an optician in oh, Paris. They're starting to make comments. Ew. <laughs> Someone with the Ew. Those are 400. <laughs> but now. 400. Yes. And to think you'll sit on them when you go to the market. <laughs> right? Oh, you know, you look <laughs> the audience hates these. All right, All right let's move now, on. What's this? Guess what this is. I don't want to guess. This is for you. <laughs> I don't want it. What is it? <laughs> well, touch it. Isn't that, it's a kind of a thing you just walk by and do this all day, if you choose. It's great, isn't Is that it? why the French talk that way? <laughs> it's all right, now, close your eyes. Oh, no, yesterday you stuck your hand in my mouth. Well, this is a little different. All right. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, Mama, help me. Don't, what are you going to do? Look. Don't look. I'm not going to put it in my mouth, Don't look. <laughs> are you ready? I have expensive teeth in my mouth, Dee. What is it? Open your eyes. This is a Philippe Stark vase. It is $875. Oh. And isn't that beautiful? Isn't that interesting? See the French? They're so clever. I like that. Do you like that? Isn't that I like that, too. How much? $875. That's quite beautiful. So we have all of our fringe interiors, little things that we've shown you. Isn't that great? It so really you is. You want the guillotine chair, the pony chair with the stirrups. I want, want the the, um, the chair with the stirrups, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and you... I want the phone thing. Okay, great. And I'll I want me... this. Yeah, I knew you'd I knew you'd love you that. Do you have any money? Sure. You're buying me this? No, it, you you said you could use your checkbook, but it's in your dressing room and I'll go get it later. It's, you have your credit card. She right? never has any money. I have money. She has money. If you'd like more information on how you can purchase these items, stay tuned, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you just how you can get our tip sheet. Bon appétit. <laughs> the only thing I could think of in French. Okay. Ensuite, les amoureux françaises. La vie bien romantique. Bon moment. <laughs> Can you believe this? No. Oh, Frenchmen. The allure, the mystique of those sexy Frenchmen. What is it about them that so overcomes us? Why do women dream of being swept off their feet by a Frenchman's love and romance? Well, here on Attitudes today, we're going to find out. With us today are three Frenchmen in their 30s who know what it's like to be French in America. Meet René Perrat, Jean-Marie Salon, and Philippe Leboeuf. Bonjour and welcome. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonsoir. All right, bonsoir, that's right. So, now that um, we have little tinkling ice, yes. what is it that is so different about French men that American women just love? Let's start with you, Philippe. What do you think is the mystique about French men? What do you do that's different than American men? What do I do? Already, I think we're given a lot of credit. No. <laughs> that's for us. 
And um, maybe it's just the way we are raised and just for the civilization, the country we're from, the, uh, or the culture. And I think we, in that sense, we're a little bit different American men. Rene, it's interesting that Philippe says about the way you are raised. Is it different? Do your parents raise you to be more flirtatious, more complimentary to women? I think so. We have to live to our reputation, to our father's reputation, <laughs> right. to our grandparents' reputation. <laughs> right. um, I think, you know, we, we like champagne. I mean, we, we're very bubbly, we're very lively. Uh, we are flirtatious. Um, that's for sure. We like also perfume, a little sensual, I think. That's the way we brought up. Now, the French love to talk and they love to interact with people. This um, idea of flirtation, mm -hmm. do you think that um, all Frenchmen are born with this ability, or do you mm -hmm. think that it's something that is projected on them by mm -hmm. American women? Chamery, what do you no, think? No, I think it's, it's more something that French women bring out of them. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, of that's course. Interesting. I mean, it's not one-sided. So I think probably at some age, the things start to happen between the sexes in France. Hopefully. Since something that's a bit different, maybe from here. How do American yeah. women treat you? Uh, how will they be? They will be, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit more straightforward, a little bit less playful. They will maybe go to the bottom line. The bottom line? Yes. You know, like, what are we trying to do? Why in France we enjoy not knowing what we are about, you know, what, not knowing what that's it's about. That's a wonderful thing. We'll it's make the it game last for hours. Yeah. yeah, that's right. the, the, the <coughs> foreplay, if you will, <laughs> of conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the, the dance. Do you think, Philippe, do you think that, now you're married to an English woman? An American woman. An American mm -hmm. woman. And um, how does that work out? Very well, very well. Does <laughs> it? <laughs> 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 say no. <laughs> well, the next question is mm -hmm. um, there's a lot, there was a lot of attraction, from, obviously, from my wife. Probably one of the fact was I'm French. Right. And she was attractive to, I guess, something exotic and something European or French. And that's how it worked out. And I, I was also attracted to an American woman just because maybe she was different than And what French was different ladies. about her from what you were used to? Maybe I got tired of French women. <laughs> just, and why? Know. Because because of what Jean-Marie is saying, that they like too much of the game? Or did you want someone a little bit right, more direct? Right, exactly. I'm, I think a bit direct person. And I like to I appreciate my the way a French woman come across quite now, directly. Rene, uh, going off of that, mm -hmm. do you think that um, French men then are expected to work too hard to get a girl? No, that's the way we are. We, we don't have to work hard. That's, that's basically the way we are. We don't, we don't try to work hard. Um, I, I guess, uh, again, that's the way we, we were raised. And, uh, you know, it's, we like to play, uh, to play this game and be flirtatious and uh, compliment a woman. And uh, we love to, I mean, I can cook and everything, and it's a champagne and it's a wine. And every single round, I think it's what's romantic about it. I mean, what is now? You're married to an English girl. Mm -hmm. What is your idea of a romantic evening? A romantic evening? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly some champagne, some good food, uh, a nice fireplace, and of course a good company. That's right. <laughs> now, um, when we talk about uh, the attraction of Frenchmen, you. Um, you don't feel uh, out of place in the States. You don't think that um, you have to work hard. You're just the game of it. I, I know a lot of women when they go, American women that have gone to France, they sometimes are a little insulted when they're whistled at or grabbed a bit or something mm. like that. Let's talk about that a little bit, Jean-Marie, because we were saying that it's, not, it's only your appreciation of women. It's not to be rude. No, no, it's not, it's not to be rude. I don't, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, let's say that it's much more active in France than here. The, the women will show their appreciation of men in a different way, maybe a little bit more, and especially men of women. So you, you're, more verbal, be, you're more verbal, uh, you're more, like you would whistle at a girl. If you saw 
what are you going to say? Well, I, I'm not sure that everybody whistle. Um, right. That's not. I, I don't think. Yeah. I don't whistle personally at women. I mean, uh, certainly not like that. I think maybe when American women go to France, uh, some French people or some French men expect then they should behave maybe or mm -hmm. the expectation is higher. So they may be overreact. And since I think they're already very yeah. high comparatively to, to American, I think it's over powerful. But I don't think all French men whistle at women. We but certainly it's... look and you know, say nothing wrong about it. Don't touch because we are married. But uh, that's... Um, Maybe we'll do it sometime just to, to show a little bit of support. Or, or support and everything. See, you know, if quality. a woman dresses up, you, she should, it be, would be, no, she should no. be appreciated. She should feel it. I think that's wonderful. Eyes contact, for example, you can look mm -hmm. somebody and just have a little smile. And I don't think it's rude. I think it's a compliment with the eyes. And, and just something yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. like a little bit earlier, you said uh, that we maybe have to work a little bit hard, too hard to get a woman. But getting the woman may not be the bottom line. Aha. Uh -huh. The bottom line may just be that very moment, right. that little sparkle in the air on that moment, mm -hmm. that exchange, where she knows that she's desired, that she's desirable, and and she'll it will all be discreet. You know, you don't need to. It's very intimate. Make, it's it's very it's just intimate. a li nice little. It's just sending a flower like that. It's it's no big deal. Right. It makes her feel good. It makes us feel good. It's we they make us feel good. How about you, audience? <laughs> Frenchmen, we have um, really enjoyed this. It's been very enlightening. And uh, we think the Frenchmen are living up to their image. We're glad you're in the States. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Linda. Et suite le mystique Ali Chic des Femmes Françaises. Come back. What is it about French women? Is it something in croissant or are they just born with that inbred sense of style? The truth is, you don't have to be born French to be seriously chic. Our next guest, Susan Summers, author of French Chic and style director of Woman Magazine, is going to show all of us how to get that French look without leaving home. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Hi. Thank you very much. All right, Susan. Please define for everyone, what is French Chic? It's really a sense of nerve. Really? The, yes, these women will try anything. They really have a lot of guts and they're not afraid to try things that American women probably would never think of. They don't like things to match. They don't like things to look too done. They like it all to look like they just sort of threw it on. Just any old thing. And it always works. Any old thing, as long as one thing is very expensive, ah. as long as they have the right handbag, as long as one of those things is an Hermes scarf, as long as one of those things is a little white t-shirt, as long as one of those things is cashmere. Really? Okay. And, and now, the list goes on. We, we sort of put this to the test. We, we asked an audience member if she would volunteer to give her this French chic look. Let's see a little picture of her before. Put it on, John. There she is. Jeans and a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and Reeboks, all right? Now, let's see this same lady done over French style. This is Mary Jo, everyone. Wow! <laughs> Wonderful! What Mary I thought I'd do, jo. Linda, is just show you some ways that French women use accessories. Okay. Um, it might be a little hard with the mic here, but one of the things that they do is take a long chain. Maybe, uh -huh. Mary Jo, you can do it and just release it. They have their Hermes scarf maybe around Oh, their, their waist. waist. Right. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to take the jacket off. Now, this is just a, a white cotton T-shirt. This is just you buy a white anywhere, cotton right? T-shirt that you buy in the menswear department. It's a man's undershirt, actually. Right. Fruit of the Loom, Hanes, anything will do. They come in packages of they three. In, yes, they come in packages of. Yeah, they do. Actually, is you white can buy them in the, the five only and ten. You want to buy white is the only, absolutely oh. only one that you want to buy. Okay. That's then very important. Then they might important. take their Hermes scarf. Yeah. Usually it has to be a real Hermes scarf. They tie it around their throat. That this looks is French, one way. Doesn't it? Tuck in the end. 
And overall, they might throw... A big shawl. A big shawl. And that's it. They'll close this. One point that I wanted to make is that all of the clothes don't have to be French to look French. This is a cashmere sweater from N. Peel. This is a cashmere shawl from N. Peel. This blue jacket is Marion Recivo at Bloomingdale Short Hills. There's lots of ways to do this. These are little gold Joan and David shoes that you can buy in any department store. Right. And what about her jeans? Now, these were the same jeans and t-shirt you had yes. on Yes, these before. are her own right. personal jeans. It doesn't matter as long as the leg is narrow. Then they might finish off with a little touch like these. Now, these French women really buy good accessories, do they not? They do. The jewelry is usually real. The jewelry is usually real, but one little trick that they have, they'll always wear real gold. Right. But they'll mix it with false pearls. Why? They get, because they get a lot of mileage that way. Because they scrimp and they save. They scrimp and they splurge, actually. They scrimp on things that might do double duty and look right. the part. Right. And they splurge on things that they know that they can wear for years. I mean, it's almost, it's very difficult to tell a real pearl from a yeah, fake pearl. it is. Mary Jo, how do you feel? I feel good. So. Do you feel chic? I feel chic. Do you like the look? Now, you, you did her hair and her makeup. We yes, her hair is by Charles of the Yves Claude Salon in New York. Her makeup is by Mark Daniels. And um, basically, okay. French girls yeah, wear very know. little eye makeup. They always look very healthy skin, red lips. Always. Usually. Yeah. And the hair is always very easy and usually something that you can just sort of shake into place. I mean, it's one of those things where they like it to look imperfect. You know? They want to just have that kind of yeah. wealthy, throw it on, not terribly important, but the, the accessories are good. They'll usually wear a Chanel bag or an Hermes bag, and it might be a bag that belonged to their mother. Really? It's one of those things where they don't like it to all look new and all look done. They like to look like they just woke up, they sort of did it, they threw on these things, and then they're out for the day. Now, a great what time. about colors? There's a lot of color on you, Mary Jo. I what? mean, most right. of us in America are a little afraid of color. We stay, stay with our, don't, you're sh nodding your head, yeah. yeah. We mostly stay with our little black and our little white and our little, you know, maybe one other color. But you have a lot of color. The most expensive pieces, like the blazer and usually the trousers, are neutrals. And then they'll pepper it up with really an unexpected color in the sweater. The shawl purple is sort of a neutral. Right. Red is a neutral. And then Hermes scarves. Hermes is known for really doing bright scarves yeah. as well as a lot of neutrals. So what they'll do is pepper up those really expensive pieces. It's great look. That are ne I like neutral it. with. Now, yeah. in your book, you talk about lingerie being very important to the French. It is. Is that true? Yes, it is very important. They what happens? Very, I mean, they're, they're, they're going to be hit feel, by a car? Or? I think it's, one of, it's a mental trick that French women have. Right. They like to feel that they're very sexy, so they wear very sexy underclothes, even if it's underneath a very staid suit. Even underneath this, you'll find a French woman usually wearing a little push-up bra. Did she give you something? Etc. I wish she would. No, she didn't. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't this time, but the thought was there. Well, it's fun. Audience, isn't it fun? I love the way she looks. It's thank casual. You. It's very up Thank yeah, you. Very, very thank very nice. you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mary Jo. You look great. Thank you. You thank really you. do. All right, where am I? Over here? D. D, D, speak. Got it, got it, got it. Restez avec nous et vous verrez un tresseur remarquable. La beauté piagie en cristal. Share with you is one of the special artistic traditions of France. La Lique, magnificent objects and jewelry in glass. It began in the late 19th century with René Lalique, followed by his son, Marc, and now granddaughter, Marie-Claude Lalique, who continues to create high elegance in glass. To quote an art expert, Lalique did for glass what Coco Chanel did for fashion. Okay, let's take a look. It okay, let's beautiful. start over here. All right, what now, these are rings. Rings. Now, let's tell everybody what these cost. Uh, the rings are $160, and they're all glass, so you've got to remember not to slam your hand down on something, they're right? Beautiful. They come in all different colors. And the fish uh, yeah. were originally made by Marie Claude's grandfather in the 1920s. They're $79 each, and uh, she introduced the, reintroduced the fish last year in eight colors, yeah. and they're one of the most 
popular collectibles of the Lalit collection. Uh, this is a perfume bottle. This is very famous. Uh, yes. All of us ladies know what this is. You, you always kind of want it, and then you buy the cheap thing you see next to it. Do you right, know what I mean? Right, right. And this is two hundred and ninety-five dollars. It, it is really quite beautiful, and it has that whole Lalit. And uh, Marie Claude's grandfather, Rene, made the first perfume uh, what, Falcon. Nineteen oh seven. Yes, nineteen oh seven. This is a Lalit pendant. It says Lalique on it. Isn't that um, pretty? I'm not sure how many colors. I think it comes in all the colors. Yeah. With the, with the silk, silk cord, and it's one ninety five. Okay, did you get a picture of that? Here it is in clear, as you can see. It's, it's beautiful stuff and classic. It's like the, the French, you know, things last with the French. They don't just chuck it and yeah. buy something new the next year. You're going to love these for yeah. Frank, I right? love this for Frank. Frank's a Leo, so I think this is perfect. This was inspired by the African safari in 1987. It's $780. Right. And with it, the lion is his lioness, Simba, and uh, $780 for her, designed in 1989 to go with Bamara, the lion. Now, this is... Uh, uh, Lalique's um, uh, theme of, of the animals, as you can see, I hope you can, there are animals etched in the whole vase, and um, this was done by Renee in 1932. You want to hold it up? No, you can see it. And this Comes cost is 695 six, six ninety five. $695, you can buy them for gifts this Christmas. $695, all right? Isn't that pretty? This is magnificent, obviously. Yeah, we love this. This is quite beautiful. This is 2200 and uh, it started the series in 1970, and uh, these are kneeling nymphs. Two pairs. Mm -hmm. Two pairs. That's beautiful. Goodbye. 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 Well, well. Anyway, well, just the taste to... of Lalique. Right. right. Well, let's go back to the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do to that. To finish our yeah. shopping. We have so much more shopping Michelle to do. Michelle is going to come with us. I have. Oh, he is. Here I am. Thank you so much. Oh, you. Oh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> I hope it comes in lots of colors. To receive Lifetime's Attitudes tip sheet with information on today's show, call 1-900-773-4040. Today's show and issue number is two. The cost of the call and tip sheet is $2. To avoid ordering duplicate tip sheets, please check your issue number before placing the call. If you would like tickets, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Attitudes Tickets, 3412 36th Street, Astoria, New York, 11106. Or give us a call at area code 718-706-3575. Coming up on the Lifetime Afternoon movie, David Soule and Cliff Robertson match wits in the dramatic conclusion of the epic drama, The Key to Rebecca, next. Hi, beautiful. So we have all of our fringe interiors, little things that we've shown you. Isn't that great? It so really you is. want the guillotine chair, the pony chair with the stirrups. I want, want the, the, um, the chair with the stirrups, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and you... I want the phone thing. Okay, great. And I'll I make... want this. Yeah, I knew you'd, I knew you'd love you that. Do you have any money? Sure. You're buying me this? No, it, you, you said you could use your checkbook, but it's in your dressing room, and I'll go get it later. It's, you have your credit card. She right? never has any money. I have money. She has money. Okay. If you'd like more information on how you can purchase these items, stay tuned, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you just how you can get our tip sheet. Bon appétit. <laughs> the only thing I can think of in French. Okay. Ensuite, les amoureux français. La vie bien romantique. Bon moment. Can you believe this? No. Oh. Frenchmen, the allure, the mystique of those sexy Frenchmen. What is it about them that so overcomes us? Why do women dream of being swept off their feet by a Frenchman's love and romance? Well, here on Attitudes today, we're going to find out. With us today are three Frenchmen in their 30s who know what it's like to be French in America. Meet Rene Perrat, Jean-Marie Salon, and Philippe Leboeuf. Bonjour and welcome. 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 Bonjour. 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 Bonsoir. All right. Bonsoir. That's right. So now that um, we have little tinkling ice, yes. 
What is it that is so different about French men that American women just love? Let's start with you, Philippe. What do you think is the mystique about French men? What do you do that's different than American men? What do I do? Already, I think we're given a lot of credit. No. <laughs> that's difficult for us. And um, maybe it's just the way we are raised and just for the civilization, the country we're from, the, um, or the culture. And I think we, in that sense, we're a little bit different American men. Rene, it's interesting that Philippe says about the way you are raised. Is it different? Do your parents raise you to be more flirtatious, more complimentary to women? I think so. We have to live to our reputation, to our father's reputation, <laughs> right. to our grandparents' <laughs> reputation. Right. Um, I think, you know, we, we're like champagne. I mean, we, we're very bubbly, we're very lively. Uh, we are flirtatious. Um, that's for sure. We like also a perfume, a little sensual, I think. That's the way we brought up. Now, the French love to talk and they love to interact with people. This um, idea of flirtation, mm -hmm. do you think that um, all too come back? Grand Marnier, voila, here we are. Give me a mattress somewhere. Give here. me a match. Voila. Okay. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Yes. You have it, Lynn? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, what okay. do I do? Here. Drop do it. what to it? Voila! Ah! Beautiful! Am I on fire? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was You'd wonderful. see, beautiful. Here we are. Well, that's and certainly... you just put it a little bit alive? over here. Yeah. Voila. <laughs> you see, don't be worried. Now no, you, no, you get something. You're going to eat it. Voila, voila, voila. I'm going to what it? Voila. Eat it? Oui. Oh, eat it. Eat. Oh, that's Have a little bit. Okay. Take Here we tea. are. You go ahead. I'll take it. Okay, take uh, that. We're with the French. I'll use and it. And you are still, you're still whole. You see? I'm, I'm not Wonderful. on fire, which is great. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Let me have that. That's good. This that's very is good. fabulous. That's very good. That was easy, wasn't it, Marie? If it's you would like that at home, please Thank you if for you the help. I would love to create a flaming okay. sensation at your house. Stay tuned because later in the show we'll tell you how to get it. Jean Claude, mm. thank you so thank much. You, mm. It's lovely That's having you. Good. You can cook at Merci. our house anytime yeah. you want. Avec plaisir. Yes. And we take the accordionist with us. Les chasseurs et les accessoires. Très bien conclu la note française. Come back. Good. Isn't it delicious? <laughs> Ready? Yes. Our next guest is the toast of Paris and the international fashion scene, an accessories whiz whose delicious creations go from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Romantic hats, sculpted shoes, embroidered gloves, and decorative handbags. All designed by one man and produced by the most superb craftsmen who share his sense of perfection. Coming all the way from Paris, he joins us today. Please welcome Philippe Model. You really did come in just now yes, on the course, plane. How course. was your flight? Very good. You, very good. You were here. I like that. <laughs> You Great. were. Okay. We love the, oh, come over. Just come beautiful. Closer. The shoes and gloves. No, all right, now, Philippe, you have been designing for lots of designers. Gautier, Raquel. Yes, and you only and really went on your own, what, a couple of years ago? Oh, more than a couple, more? yes. yes. Um, a little less than 10 years. So oh, that long? It's really oh, more yeah. than a couple. Yeah. How does it feel to be on your own? You're liking it more? Um, of course, uh, it's different. It's always uh, very important to do to progress and to do more and to try to do better. Well, car or I think it's one of it's a mental trick that French women have. Right. They like to feel that they're very sexy, so they wear very sexy underclothes, even if it's underneath a very staid suit. Even underneath this, you'll find a French woman usually wearing a little push-up bra. Did she give you something? Etc. I wish she would. No, she didn't. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't this time, but the thought was there. Well, it's fun, audience. Isn't it fun? I love the way she looks. It's casual. It's very upscale. Thank very, you, Susan. Very, very thank much. you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mary Jo. You look great. Thank you. You thank really you. do. All right, where am I? Over here? D. 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 <laughs> Speak. Got it. Got it. Got it. Restez avec nous et vous verrez un tracé remarquable. La beauté piagie en cristal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Share with you is one of the special artistic traditions of France, La Lique, magnificent objects and jewelry in glass. It began in the late 19th century with René Lalique, followed by his son, Marc, and now granddaughter, Marie-Claude Lalique, who continues to create high elegance in glass. To quote an art expert, Lalique did for glass what Coco Chanel did for fashion. Okay, let's take a look. It okay, let's beautiful. start over here. All right, what now, these are rings. Rings. Now, let's tell everybody what these cost. Uh, the rings are $160, and they're all glass, so you've got to remember not to slam your hand down on something, they're right? Beautiful. They come in all different colors. And the fish uh, yeah. were originally made by Marie-Claude's grandfather in the 1920s. They're $79 each, and uh, she introduced the, reintroduced the fish last year in eight colors, yeah. and they're one of the most popular collectibles of the Lalique collection. This is a perfume bottle. This is very famous. Uh, yes. All of us ladies know what this is. You always kind of want it, and then you buy the cheap thing you see next to it. Do you right, know what I mean? Right, right, right. And this is $295. It, it is really quite beautiful, and it has that whole Lalique and, look. And uh, Marie-Claude's grandfather, René, made the first perfume uh, what, falcon. 1907? Yes, 1907. 1907. This is a Lalique pendant. It says Lalique on it. Isn't that um, pretty? I'm not sure how many colors. I think it comes in all the colors. Yeah. With the with the silk, silk cord, and it's 195. Okay. Did you get a picture of that? Here it is, in clear, as you can see. It's it's beautiful stuff and classic. It's like the the French. You know, things last with the French. They don't just chuck it and yeah. buy something new the next year. You're gonna love these for yeah. Frank. Yeah. Right? I love this for Frank. Frank's a Leo, so I think this is perfect. This was inspired by the African safari in 1987. It's 780 dollars, right. and with it, the lion is his lioness Simba, and uh, 780 dollars for her, designed in 1989 to go with Bamara, the lion. Promotion at Bloomingdale. Yes. So uh -huh. I was very honored and very happy to know that uh, I was chosen as an important accessory. Designer, that's French great. designer, so that's the reason. So, so show us some of the, yeah. talk about some of the shoes yeah. and the gloves, and then we can go to hats that we can't yeah. wait for. So here you have an interesting uh, version of a uh, um, patchwork story. So patchwork with uh, bright colors. But patchwork, how pretty. Trying to be easy to wear, too. These are gorgeous. Now, do French ladies dress very differently than we Americans? Mm, do you think? Yes and no. How, why yes? Um, Differently, they know how to to mix things um, that seems not to go well together, and yeah. at the end they go well, they go together. well together. So that's a, a practice of uh, trying many many ways. And uh, and they always seem to have one good thing. If they even can't make a meal, yeah. they get one great skirt, one great blouse. Mm. You know, I always thought and that was wonderful. And what is important, uh, and the reason why I, I'm doing. Uh, well or not, I don't know in accessories, is that it's very important to understand how to use uh, accessories because like uh, gloves. it makes uh, a different sense of, uh, of your dresses. Everybody has uh, nice dresses. Yes, you and don't accessories need to change. are very important. Ooh, and I don't think we use them nice. enough here. Look You're right. That. Mm -hmm. That's comfortable, you know. What's that made out of? <laughs> not much to cover mm, It's a mix of uh, silk and synthetic, so... Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Does it feel yeah. good? It feels good, Let me yeah. Yeah. That's nice. beautiful. Yeah. These are lovely, too. Yeah. These with the colors. Mm. Now, Philippe, is it, is it all right for women to, to put on like a, a glove like this, let's say, and, and have it no, be totally acceptable. different color than what you're wearing? Of course, oh, because is it, what is also very important is to, to try to have something like that with um with That's jeans beautiful. Yeah. With instead jeans. instead of really? being very only very dressed you can use accessories with a, a unusual way making uh, habillé a very casual uh, dress yes we have yes. been dying to get to your hats you're going this way i'm going which this one way. do you want i'm going to try on this one first. all right we have to come back all right of hats. oh dear <laughs> This is a little short. And, uh, it's Could me, the Dano here. Oh, see, I like big hats like this. Let's see, Dee. Oh, honey, that's adorable. Oh, that's... Now, mm -hmm. that's stitched sure out. Hat. See, like most berets, you know, kind like of go French. flat on your head. Yeah. You look like you got hit by a so car. So we keep it that high up like that. How pretty. 
Oh, nice. Very. Now, see, Pretty that's lovely. very French, isn't it? Let me try Let's this one. Let's try on. another one. I'm a real hat person, Now, you make so. all your hats in the country? Yes. And I'm what does happy. that mean? Hello. Ah, it, it means that I live in the country. <laughs> and we're with the French. I'll use and it. And you are still, you are still whole. You see? I, I'm not Wonderful. on fire, which is great. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Let me have another. That's good. That's very good. Fabulous. That's very good. That was easy, wasn't it, Marie? It's if you would do that at home, please Thank you if for you the help. Can, would like to create a flaming oh, sensation at your house. Stay tuned because later in the show we'll tell you how to get it. Jean Claude, mm. thank you so thank much. You, mm. It's lovely That's having you. Good. You can cook Merci. at our house anytime yeah. you want. Avec plaisir. Yes. And we take the accordionist with us. Les chasseurs et les accessoires. Très bien concours la mode française. Come back. Isn't it delicious? Ready? Yes. Our next guest is the toast of Paris and the international fashion scene. An accessories whiz whose delicious creations go from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Romantic hats, sculpted shoes, embroidered gloves, and decorative handbags. All designed by one man and produced by the most superb craftsmen who share his sense of perfection. Coming all the way from Paris, he joins us today. Please welcome Philippe Model. Bonsoir. 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 Um, you really did come in just now yes, on course, the plane. How was course. your flight? Very good. You, very good. You were here like that. <laughs> you were. Great. Okay. We love the, oh, come, come over. Just come beautiful. Closer. The shoes and gloves. No, all right, now, Philippe, you have been designing for lots of designers. Gautier, Raquel. Yes, and many you only and really went on your own, what, a couple of years ago? Oh, more than a couple, more? yes. yes. Um, a little less than 10 years, so oh, that long? it's really more really? than a couple. Yeah. How does it feel to be on your own? You're liking it more? Um, of course, uh, it's different. It's always uh, very important to do, to progress and to do more and to try to do better. Yeah. Tell us what's happening at Bloomingdale's. You have all your hats and gloves and bags and shoes, everything there? Uh, yes, uh, you know about the um, French promotion at Bloomingdale, yes. so uh -huh. I was very honored and very happy to know that uh, I was chosen as an important accessory designer, that's French great. designer, so that's the reason. So, so show us some of the, yeah. talk about some of the shoes yeah. and the gloves, and then we can go to hats that we can't yeah. wait for. So here you have an interesting uh, version of a um, patchwork story. So patchwork with uh, bright colors. But that should be appreciated. She should feel it. I think that's wonderful. Eyes contact, for example, you can look mm -hmm. somebody and just have a little smile. And I don't think it's rude. I think it's a compliment with the eyes. And, and just something wrong. Yeah, like, when like, you like a little bit earlier, you said uh, that we maybe have to work a little bit hard, too hard to get a woman. But getting the woman may not be the bottom line. Aha. Uh -huh. The bottom line may just be that very moment, right. that little sparkle in the air on that moment, mm -hmm. that exchange, where she knows that she's desired, that she's desirable, and, and she'll, it will all be discreet. You know, you don't need to... It's very intimate. Make, it's it's, very it's intimate. just a li nice little, it's just sending a flower like that, it's, it's no big deal. Right. It makes her feel good, it makes us feel good. We, they make us feel good. How about you, audience? <laughs> Frenchmen, we have um, really enjoyed this. It's been very enlightening. And uh, we think the Frenchmen are living up to their image. We're glad you're in the States. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Linda. A sweet le mystique à chic des femmes françaises. Come back. What is it about French women? Is it something in 
croissant or are they just born with that inbred sense of style? The truth is, you don't have to be born French to be seriously chic. Our next guest, Susan Summers, author of French Chic and style director of Woman Magazine, is going to show all of us how to get that French look without leaving home. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Hi. Thank you very much. All right, Susan. Please define for everyone, what is French Chic? It's really a sense of nerve. Really? The, yes, these women will try anything. They really have a lot of guts and they're not afraid to try things that American women probably would never think of. They don't like things to match. They don't like things to look too done. They like it all to look like they just sort of threw it on. Just any old thing. Any, and it always works. Any old thing, as long as one thing is very expensive, ah. as long as they have the right handbag, as long as one of those things is an Hermes scarf, as long as one of those things is a little white t-shirt, Long, as long as one of those things is cashmere. Really? Okay. And, and now, the list goes on. We, we sort of put this to the test. We, we asked an audience member if she would volunteer to give her this French chic look. Let's see a little picture of her before. Put it on, John. There she is. Jeans and a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and Reeboks, all right? Now, let's see this same lady done over French style. You see, you see the French people, that's why they are not very fat. They're not. Because the food is good, certainly. They have a way of doing food. And they don't overeat it. That's you ever know that's the key? Some good things, yes. you know, they, they are little stop. gourmet, not yes. gourmand, as that's we say. That's exactly right. Gourmet, not gourmand. Now, you put a little melted butter, melted butter, uh -huh. right? that will help it not to stick on the pan here. Okay. Here we are, together. Jean-Claude, we always hear about the French having such joie de vivre, this joy for life. Oui. Do you think that's true? Oh, that's true. When you have some accordion, a baguette of French bread, a glass of red wine. A bit and of love. And, and of course, I want to send a beautiful girl. That's romantic, <laughs> that's you know? That's all you need Thank to be Thank you for helping. You see I'm how good she's doing you. it? Oh, Wonderful. Great. I'm so when you. it finishes, it's come just like that. Nice and You eh? take Smooth. just a little, that's enough. Okay. And you just put it on your very hot pan. Here we are. Very little of it. Yes, just very little. Just to cover the pan? Just to cover the pan, just like that, you oh, see? Oh, very little. And I told you, if I can do it, you can do it too. Okay. So here it's wonderful. We just wait two minutes until it gets a little bit brown on the corner. Right. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes. Yes. Did have you have you? a good time? No, I've never been. No? No. We go I together. Oh, oh, thank you. Can I come along? Of course. Good. And we take some of the audience here. Ha, ha, ha. Uh-huh. All right. I love your like show. That. Attitude. Thank you. Attitude. Yes. It's very good in French, Attitude. you know? Attitude. with Dee and Linda. Attitude. Wonderful. Thank you. Maybe Merci. I'll start this talk like this. Paris is something I've always wanted to do. You'll go. We'll go. I've we'll been to Nice and there. Evian, but never to Paris. Oh, Evian, that's good water. Yes, I'm not doing wonderful. commercial, but it's true that yeah. it's very good water yeah, yeah. for your body. I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to do commercial. <laughs> Look at that bubbling up like well, that. Well, it's See because that, it's everybody? cooking. Yes, Great. yes. Here we are. And it's still cooking. Now, what does okay. it turn now out what? to okay. be, Jean-Claude? Now, leave that here. We what? are going to see the sauce you have okay. to make. You have to make a sauce. It's very easy. Voila. The sauce, voilà. you just put some sugar. We have some uh, sugar here. Powdered right? sugar. Powdered sugar. You right. put some butter. Right. Mm -hmm. We have it. Uh -oh. Some melted butter. It kind of got stiff, didn't it? Voila. Right. Okay. Then you have some orange. One juice of an orange. One a juice of an orange. Or like yes. A, like a whole orange. Exactly. Okay. And then you put some, what do you call that? Orange zest? rind. Orange zest. Orange rind. Orange rind. And you just put it here. Yeah, orange rind. And that's the way it will right. go. Okay. And then now you can turn the crepe, you see. You just take it like that. Oh, when Beautiful. you do turn it over. Oh, look. Here okay. we are. Okay. And here is the crepe. It's wonderful. Is that and cooking for you? Yes, that's okay. cooking. That's very good. And okay. And then you just have the sauce, which is finished. I'm going to do it because I want to a little bit faster here. Okay. We are going to put the crepe here. Voila. Voila. Look we at have this. A little sauce here. Uh, which has to burn. And now here are going Let's to flambe it with we're some... We're going to flambe Grand Marnier. Voila, here we are. Give me a match somewhere. Give here. me a match. Voila. Okay. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Yes. You have it, Lynn? Yes, I do. Okay. Now what okay. do I do? Here. I mean, let's say that it's much more active in France than here. The, the women will show their appreciation of men in a different way, maybe a little bit more, and especially men of women. So you, you're more verbal, be, you're more, uh, like you would whistle at a girl. If you saw, what are you going to say? Well, I, I'm not sure that everybody whistle. Uh, that's not, I, I don't think, yeah. I don't whistle personally at women. I mean, certainly not like that. I think maybe when American women go to France, uh, some French people or some French men expect 
then they should behave maybe or the expectation is higher so they may be overreact and since I think they're already very yeah. high comparatively to, to American I think it's over powerful but I don't think all Frenchmen whistle at women we certainly look and you know say nothing wrong about it don't touch because we are married but uh, that's um, uh, Maybe we'll do it sometime just to, to show a little bit of support or, or support and everything. See, you know, if a quality. woman dresses up, you, she should it would be, be no, she should be appreciated. She should feel it. I think that's wonderful. Eyes contact, for example, you can look mm -hmm. somebody and just have a little smile. And I don't think it's rude. I think it's a compliment with the eyes and, and just a, yeah, like, like, you like, like a little bit earlier, you said. Uh, that we maybe have to work a little bit hard, too hard to get a woman, but getting the woman may not be the bottom line. Aha! Uh -huh. The bottom line may just be that very moment, right. that little sparkle in the air, on that moment, mm -hmm. that exchange, where she knows that she's desired, that she's desirable, and and she'll it will all be discreet. You know, you don't need to. It's very intimate. Make, it's, it's just a li nice little, it's just sending a flower like that, it's, it's no big deal. Right. It makes her feel good, it makes us feel good. We, no they make us feel good. How about you, audience? <laughs> French men, we have um, really enjoyed this. It's been very enlightening. And uh, we think the French men are living up to their image. We're glad you're in the States. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Suite Les Mystiques à l'Ichic des Femmes Françaises. Come back. What is it about French women? Is it something in croissant, or are they just born with that inbred sense of style? The truth is, you don't have to be born French to be seriously chic. Our next guest, Susan Summers, author of French Chic and style director of Woman Magazine, is going to show all of us how to get that French look. So you will see this and other designers and their, their um, creations. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, now, will you great. ever Thank design you. clothing? Uh, maybe in the future. I'm not in a hurry for that because I'm very happy to, to be specialized in, uh, accessories. in accessories. It's wonderful. I enjoy it. Thank you so enjoy much. Enjoy your you. visit here in New York. Come back and visit. Yes. Merci All right. beaucoup. Say hello to uh, France for us. How would I say goodbye? In Au revoir. Au revoir. Très difficile. Au revoir. Oh, no, please. I know I'm an idiot. Yes. No, no. Ah, la mode a français nous quitte pas. Don't go away. We'll be back. These are beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's heard of the Midas touch, where everything turns to gold. Well, I think there really is a French touch. And we're about to show you some French interiors that demonstrate how the French touch makes the ordinary absolutely elegant. Now, is this a fabulous chair? I'm sitting in a, a fabulous chair. I, I, I can tell. This is a very expensive fabulous how chair. How expensive? Nine thousand dollars. Get out of I'm here. I'm not kidding. And really? do you know why? No. It is called the guillotine chair. For $9,000? Yes. You can pretend to cut off your own head in this chair. That's perverse. It is. But that's a guillotine chair. And it's designed by Christiane Duke. The guillotine chair. Only eight of them have been made. And it is $9,000. Very expensive. OK. Good luck. Neat, huh? <laughs> Great. All right. Now, now, this is the barbarian chair. And the designers are Bonetti and Garou. <laughs> this, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? <laughs> this is got okay. horse hair on it. It's five thousand dollars. <laughs> and just for your seating or whatever pleasure, yeah. I have. N do you have any idea what these stirrups could be yes, used for? Yes, I do. <laughs> In fact, I was there two days ago. <laughs> Yeah. This would be a great gift for your gynecologist. Yes, it would. <laughs> How much is it? How much? Five grand. Five grand. Five I'm not sure he's worth that. Yeah, <laughs> my darling. But, hey. Okay, yeah. now, this is the greatest. This is another French chair. The Café Cost chair. Designer Philippe Stark. 
This chair is $700. This has got to be, you know, it's because it's French, right? The most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. There's no back. It's fantastic. There's it's no back. absolutely the most comfortable. What's it made out of? It's just the most comfortable. I can't imagine having a more comfortable chair. You don't believe me? No. Smitty, come, sit in this chair. Is this a great Smitty. chair? Smitty, now be Smith, honest. You got dressed for us today. I did. What a guy. What do you think? Is this the this most comfortable, comfortable chair? Isn't that great? Get up. One minute left. Get up. To progress and to do more and to try to do better. Yeah. Tell us what's happening at Bloomingdale's. You have all your hats and gloves and bags and shoes, everything there? Uh, yes. Uh, you know about the um, French promotion at Bloomingdale's. Yes. So uh -huh. I was very honored and very happy to know that uh, I was chosen as an important accessory designer, that's French great. designer. So that's the reason. So, so show us some of the, yeah. talk about some of the shoes yeah. and the gloves. And then we can go to hats that we can't yeah. wait for. So here you have a interesting uh, version of a um, patchwork story. So patchwork with uh, bright colors. But patchwork, how pretty. Trying to be easy to wear too. These are gorgeous. Now, do French ladies dress very differently than we Americans? Mm, do you think? Yes and no. How, why yes? Um, differently, they know how to to mix things um, that seems not to go well together, and yes. at the end, they go well, they go together. well together. So that's a, a practice of uh, trying many, many ways. And, uh, and they always seem to have one good thing. If they even can't make a meal, yeah. they get one great skirt, one great blouse. Mm. You know, I always thought and that was wonderful. And what is important, uh, and the reason why I, I'm doing uh, well or not, I don't know in accessories, is that it's very important to understand how to use uh, accessories because like uh, gloves. it makes uh, a different sense of, uh, of your dresses. Everybody has uh, nice dresses. Yes, you and don't accessories need to are very important. Ooh, and I don't think we use them nice. enough here. Look You're right. That. Mm -hmm. That's comfortable, you know. What's that made out of? <laughs> not much to cover mm, there. It's a mix of uh, silk and synthetic. So. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Does it feel yeah. good? It feels good. Let me yeah. Feel it. yeah? That's nice. beautiful. Yeah. These are lovely, too. Yeah. These with the colors. Mm -hmm. Now, Philippe, is it, is it all right for women to, to put on like a, a glove like this, let's say, and, and have it no, be a totally different color than what you're wearing? Of course, oh, because is it, what is also very important is to, to try to have something like that with, um, with That's jeans. That's beautiful. Yeah. With jeans. Instead, instead of really? being very, only very dressed, you can use accessories with an uh, unusual way, making uh, a billet, a very casual uh, dress. Yes. We have yes. been dying to get to your hats. You're going this way, I'm going Which this way. Which one do you want? I'm going to try on this one All first. All right, we have to come back. All right. Of hats. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is a little short. Hello. It's Could me, the Dano here. Oh, see, I like big hats like this. Let's see, Dee. Oh, honey, that's adorable. Oh, that's, now mm -hmm. that sticks out. Hand. See, like most berets, you know, kind of like go French. flat on your head. Yeah. You look like you got hit by a so car. So we keep it that high up like that. How pretty. Oh, nice.